I don't know how to make my hair look good. This is a reoccurring struggle every time I sit down and make a video, I feel like. Hey guys, it's Shaylee. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you've never seen my face before. It's nice to meet you. I'm Shaylee. I filmed this video once a couple days ago, and I was starting to edit it, and I just felt like it, like, I don't know, it just it was really awkward. So I'm going to film it again, because when I film videos for a second time, they turn out better. Hopefully, I think. Today I'm doing a haul. You guessed it. I know. I haven't done a haul in a while, I think, but that's kind of like my staple thing. I feel like that's my thing, is like Shaylee's hauls. That's what I should change my channel to because it's honestly all hauls. So most of this stuff is from Brandy Melville or Urban Outfitters. I might have shown a few of these in other videos. Hopefully not. I don't think I'm that dumb, but we'll, we're just going to see how this goes. The first shirt I'm going to show you is a shirt I got for my birthday, I believe from Jenna. You guys know Jenna, she's a cutie. This long-sleeved black cropped t-shirt from Urban Outfitters. It has roses down the sleeve. I love roses. She nailed it. And the back just has a big rose on it. It reminds me of Beauty and the Beast and I love Beauty and the Beast and I love roses. So she just knows me so well. This is a perfect little t-shirt that I wear all the time with high-waisted jeans. Really comfortable and cropped. And I'm just trying not to say super cute, but I can't help it. It's so cute. I love it. Okay, one down. Hopefully we can stop saying cute now. The next one I got was also for my birthday. Might have gotten it for Christmas. I don't know. I got it for my family. It's this pink Friends t-shirt. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Friends. It's my favorite show in the world. And I just love this t-shirt. I had my eye on it and I got it for Christmas. I think it's Christmas. I can't even remember. It's the perfect t-shirt. It's like, I love thrifting and I feel like this is kind of a thrift store t-shirt. Like it has that big oversized feel. I either tie it up in a knot at the bottom or I tuck it into my high-waisted jeans and then I like roll the sleeves, make it look all cute. I just really like these kinds of t-shirts. Obviously you can tell I like being comfortable and I like things close enough to pajamas where it's like, really really comfy but you can still go out in public and like be acceptable okay let's just do this because i'm wearing it right now this t-shirt i got from brandy melville it's a once again almost looks like pajamas actually i do wear this as pajamas i wore it to bed like three nights in a row it's so comfortable so anyways it's not really cropped but it has like a raw edge pull up the sleeves i don't know i love the buttons on it i think it makes it look so cute so comfortable and soft literally my favorite thing ever i think i own a few of brandy's shirts like this but i just had to get a white one i'm pretty sure jenna has one like this i don't know if it's white or gray but she has one and i love it every time she wears it she just looks so comfortable and stylish and fashionable so i mean i had a copier obviously and i got one myself i love it a lot the next t-shirt is kind of like this one that i'm wearing i don't know why i keep saying t-shirt it's not a t-shirt this one's a thermal from brandy it's navy blue this has a button up neck too the buttons are a little smaller it's a really tight thermal t-shirt. I love this shirt so much. It's so comfortable, so stretchy, and once again, it has like the material of like pajamas. Like it feels like thermal pajamas that you wear around Christmas time. And I love it. I have to say it, it's so cute. Next thing is this sweater. It's a high neck kind of sweater from Brandy Melville, black. I just love Brandy Melville so much. They have the best sweaters, I swear. Anyways, it's ribbed, adorable, cropped, adorable, goes well with jeans and sneakers, goes well with pants and boots. Oh, just everything about this is the perfect sweater. It's black, high neck, looks really classy, looks really casual, the perfect staple sweater that you need. Go to Brandy Melville, honestly, they have everything. Let's do this t-shirt next from Brandy. I got a white oversized off the shoulder v-neck tee that's just like really baggy and loose. I love this style so much. You know, every once in a while, like my white t-shirts get like, I don't know, they just get like stained and they look old and gross. So I have to get a new one every once in a while. This one was only 10 bucks from Brandy and it's so cute and comfortable. It has the perfect material. Their material's the best. I love it. T-shirt goals, check. 
I got this sweater. It's so comfortable, so perfect. It's like what I grab when I'm on the way out the door. It's a hoodie, just a plain black hoodie. It's kind of faded. It has this v-neck that is, it looks like you cut it or like you tore it and I love that about it. It's so simple but like that little staple just makes this hoodie so cute. There's no other store like it. Like they have everything that's basics and I am a very basic person when it comes to wardrobe. So I don't know, I really love their stuff. And this is really comfortable and keeps you warm, but it still looks really cute. I had a black bomber in one of my other videos before and I absolutely loved it, but I lost it. I left it somewhere. So I had to get another because they brought it back in the store. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I know you're watching over me. This black bomber is also one thing that I will grab on the way out the door because it goes with all your outfits. I hate when you put on a sweater and it ruins your outfit. It's the worst. I got this black bomber to replace my other one that I lost. I still love my other one wherever you are out there. And the last thing that I got, actually it's not the last thing, but it's the last thing before the last thing. This coat from my family, the most basic coat right now, but I'm obsessed with it. This Levi Sherpa. You know what it is. So comfortable, it's heavy duty, keeps you warm in the cold. I just love this thing. Everyone and their mom has one, but it just like, it doesn't take the value away. You know, and sometimes you see something and it's worn all the time and you're like, eh. This just, it just never goes out of style. It's been popular for a long time, but I think it looks really cute every time I see it. So, yeah, I really like that. Last thing are these pants that I'm wearing right now. Why do I always wear the stuff that I'm showing? Who knows? It's these really stretchy, high-waisted pants from Brandy Melville. My trusty old, I don't know even what this is called, plaid. It's really cute. This is gonna be difficult, but I wanna show you. It has this little, like, <laughs> notch in the back. It looks like a little flat. I don't know. You could definitely dress these up. I've worn these with like heels or boots and it looks really dressy, but you can also wear them like I'm wearing with my black Nike Air Force Ones and this sweater and it just looks casual. I love those pants. I think they're adorable. I want to show you one more thing. Yeah, let me just go get them really quick. Okay, I got these boots from Urban Outfitters that are so adorable. They're pointed toes. Um, I think they're called Chelsea boots. Well, these are the boots that I'm talking about wearing with these pants. Looks so classy. The only thing that really sucked about these is that I had to break them in and I almost, I swear my toes were gonna fall off because it hurt so bad. But now they're broken in. Oh, why am I out of breath? <laughs> Ew, I'm sad that like winter is over. Now we have to use spring, but I think I'll still be able to wear these in the springtime, I guess, kinda cute with dresses so it's fine that's all for my haul i hope to do another one soon i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down there i hope this camera was in focus oh, i don't want to film it a third time yeah i think that's all though so i'm done filming and i have to say bye which is the most awkward part but i didn't even say so cute that many times I'm so proud of myself, but thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.